Hi everyone, today we are going to do the practical that is test, test for proteins in the urine. Totally there are three, three tests for proteins in the urine. The first one is heat coagulation test, second one is sulfur salicylic acid test and the third one is nitric acid test, concentrated nitric acid test, we also call it as Heller's ring test. So in that, the first test what we are going to do is that is heat and coagulation test. The things that are required for that is the patient, urine sample, spirit lamp and the test tube with the test tube holder and this is a 3% glacial acetic acid. So we are going to start the procedure. First we have to take the 3 4 volume of urine in a test tube. We have to take 3 4 volume of urine. So now I am adding 3 4 volume of urine in a test tube. So after adding 3 4 volume of urine, first what we need to do, we have to heat the upper part of the test tube. Now I am heating the upper part of the test tube. See, now I am heating the upper part of the test tube. See now, after heating the upper part of the test tube, a very nice, the coagulum has appeared. See this is the upper part, this upper part whatever we are heated, we have to compare it with the lower part. Now you can see the coagulation here, yes, the coagulation it may be either because of phosphate or carbonate or protein. So what we are going to identify, we wanted to know whether the coagulation is because of phosphate or carbonate or protein. To confirm that, we need to add up 3 to 4 drops of 3% glacial acetic acid. Now I am adding 3 to 4 drops. 1, 2, 3, 4. After adding glacial acetic acid, the coagulum remains like that, indicates the protein is present in the urine. After adding glacial acetic acid, if this coagulum disappears, the protein is absent in the urine. Thank you.